Hi and welcome back to my channel and in this week we have Buster MOT Saga Part 2 and in this episode we see what actually failed on the pre-MOT the blue and the red pipes were not cable tied down properly also there was a um, electrical cable that was running very closely to the exhaust and also to the steering column. Uh, that was a rewire job from the uh, camper van builder uh, to the horn uh, because the center, center boss in the steering wheel, which had disassembled, um, was completely loose and was falling out. That was an MOT fail. The, um, uh, the cable running past the steering rack, that was an MOT fail. Um, the, um, the pipes, they were saying they were too close to the suspension and rubbing on the suspension rear leafs. Um, that was an MOT fail. Whilst I'm in Southminster, I pop underneath the camper van and you can see all the bits that we had to do for the MOT. So the exhaust rubbers, which you can see here in blue, they had to be changed. No problem, don't have an issue with that. Um, the, also, there is a um, compensator valve for the rear brakes that was allowing air in. It wasn't leaking, it was allowing air in and also air out, um, which tended to cause massive problems with the brakes. The rear brakes were running around 20%. They were like that when I picked the vehicle up, but brakes can go at any time. Can't really blame anyone for that. But unfortunately i couldn't fix it myself i tried but i didn't realize the rear compensator valve was gone consequently i got a big bill but i've got good brakes now and that's the main thing I had to have new discs new pads new brake calipers and new i think new uh no, not new drums new shoes and um for the handbrake and and the compensator valve this all took way too long and the saga just went on for six or seven weeks. Um, it was just laughable in the end, but um, there you go, these things happen. And new brake pipes, of course. I also had to have a battery clamp, which was missing when we bought the van, but Hey, I've I've had I've had vehicles go through the MOT without battery clamp on, but yeah, well they were missing them and they put them on and as they put on the battery clamp, don't know how it happened, but they sliced through they sliced through the indicator or repeater cable. But hey, did they take the battery out and then get the cable caught? Who knows? But I had to pay for it though, to have it repaired, even though it worked when it went in. But hey, never mind. Apparently it failed because the indicators at the top of the bus were not working. Um, I thought it would look cool to have them working, but it wasn't a priority. So put it in for the MOT, the indicators worked near the bumper. I thought that would be good enough. Obviously not, because it failed. Um, so I had to change them. Unfortunately, you can't buy them anymore. When I went to take them down, they were the plastic was really brittle, and um, so I had to change them. So I found these towing lights, which were all LED, which of course got problems with um, consuming too much power when it's on side lights, but that's another issue, and on indicators. So transfer them all over to LED, use a fraction of the power, everybody's happy. Thanks for watching my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, it's completely free.